Hello dear students, myself Aman Meej and I am again with the new topic, serious topic that's about the parts of respiratory system. Before starting about today's topic, I want to give a short introduction about the respiratory system. So first of all, respiratory system comes an important process that the breathing. And breathing is a very necessary action that all human beings need to do in order to live, in order to survive. Without breathing, life is impossible. And uh, the process of taking the air in is known as inhalation and the process of throwing out air is known as exhalation. Okay? So but why respiratory system is a system? Why not respiratory organ? Why it is called respiratory system? Because many organs work together and perform a particular function. For example, nostrils, nose, uh, trachea, pharynx, all the parts of the respiratory system and they have a particular function. So now we are going to discuss about the parts of respiratory system. There are mainly nine parts of respiratory system. We will discuss, we will discuss the function one by one. Okay, so here first part I will explain. First part is the nostril. You have nose and our nose has two nostrils. Our nose has two nostrils. Here you can see it is a nose and in here is a two nostrils. And it has two nostrils which let the iron. Through which we take the iron. Through which we take the iron. And also it has cilia. It is a hair type uh, structure. It has cilia which traps the dust particles from going in. Otherwise. If there will be no cilia, all the dust particles will go inside our lungs and it can cause infection. So cilia is very important. And it has cilia which trap the dust particles to go inside. So let us discuss about the next part. So next part is the nasal cavity. So nostrils have nasal cavity for the eye goes in the furnace. <coughs> we will discuss the furnace in third part of all. It has also mucus. Now here is a very important point. That mucus makes the cilia bed. If there will be no mucus, the cilia will be dry. And it can't trap the dust particles, it can't, it, the air particles will directly go inside. So mucus is also very important because it makes our cilia wet. Otherwise, if it will remain dry, I told you, no uh, dust particles will be trapped. Third part, it is the furnace. So it is a tube. You can see the furnace. It is a furnace. And it is a tube which connects our nasal cavity and the trachea. It presents between the nasal cavity and the trachea. Here you can see, it is a tube that enters the nasal cavity and the trachea. Between the nasal cavity and the trachea. So this is the furnace, you can see in the image. And here it is a trachea and there is the nasal cavity. Okay, so let's go to the next part. Of the furnace, it is the trachea. Uh, so I told you that it connects the nasal cavity and the trachea. Now what is trachea? Trachea is also in English known as wind pipe, but in science known as trachea. And trachea is that pipe through the air goes in. Through the air goes in the lungs. Passes through the trachea, passes through the windpipe and goes in the lungs. Trachea is the, I can say, if there will be no trachea in the body, how the lungs will go into, how the air will go into the lungs. No air will be passed and we will die. So let's move to the next part. So the next part is the lungs. Main respiratory system, main organs of respiratory system is the lungs. Lungs are pink in color due to the spongy, due to the presence of air spaces and the blood capillaries in it. I can compare the lungs with the sponge also. So here it has blood capillaries but they are filled with blood. We have two lungs. Left lung and right lung. Inside the lungs. Let's move to the next part. This is the lungs. And after the lungs, uh, after the lungs it can be a trachea. It's a, again the concept of trachea. Because trachea is divided into two tubes. That's where the bronchus. Okay. Bronchus is singular. Bronchi is singular. Bronchus. Okay. Here you can see bronchi. I can say singular is bronchus. So inside the lungs the trachea is divided into two tubes. Moon at the bronch. Moon at the bronchus. And this bronchus is also divided into tiny branches, moon at the bronchioles. And there are more than two present in our lungs, inside our lungs. Uh, for, uh, because inside the lungs, the exchange of gas takes place because they spread alveoli. And the bronchioles terminate into tiny air sacs, moon as alveoli. Tiny air sacs, which are filled with the air. <coughs> and alveoli has a very close contact with the blood capillaries. Then we inhale, we inhale air, and then air becomes nitrogen and other gases, oxygen. But why only oxygen enters the blood? What is the reason behind it? So simply, only one reason is because in the blood there is the uh, the quantity of the iron is more, so oxygen reacts with the iron only. So the only the, the when it goes into the deoxygenated blood it becomes oxygenated blood. Okay. So this is the alveoli. These terminate with the DNA attached to this alveoli. These are very thin walls. Remember. These are very thin walls. And last part of the respiratory system that they from. So lungs, these are protected by ribcage. You know that, that uh, ribcage covers the lungs. They are present, lungs are present inside the ribcage. Okay. So but it, I guess it separates the digestive system from the respiratory and circulatory system. 
main function. Otherwise, digestive system will be connected to pain. So it, I can say, separate is the digestive system with the circulatory and the respiratory system, and it's a, I can say supported by more thread where all the diaphragm. Okay, so this is the last part of the respiratory system, and the last I, I will I will uh, like to tell you that the respiratory system is most important or organ system of our body. Respiratory system helps us to take in our throat the carbon dioxide, and without that.